Welcome back to the channel everybody, my name is Chief Chumwan and you are watching part 10 of my Subnautica playthrough. Let's dive in. Alright guys, we are sitting here in the Aurora. If you watched the last episode, part 9, I had just kind of gone through the whole uh ship at this point and we're just kind of trying to figure out how to get out of here <laughs> so <laughs> it could be well but anyways i'm kind of thinking that we're going to repair this stuff anyways don't ask me why but we're going to i have a feeling this might lead us out of the ship not sure though may as well try you know less radiation in the ocean the better right save the turtles Save the dang turtles. That's why we out here. We're here for the turtles. But, anyways, guys. Oh, we're gonna have to exchange this for a fresh battery. Good thing we have a thousand of them. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways, guys, if you have any uh, questions or comments, obviously, if you have any comments, Leave them in the comment section below. Or if you have any tips or tricks for me, be sure to also leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you because that's what I do. I do go through all my comments. Now. This is something I have yet to deal with. I'm not sure how to get this thing off me. Okay, so it came off me naturally. That was scary. I don't like those things. Get away from me. Hopefully we can avoid them because obviously, like I just said, I have no idea how to get rid of them. And they're really creepy. I... Oh, you just hit them. Okay, well that's chill. Could be worse. I didn't realize I could just hit them like that. That's a pretty simple way to get them off. They're still gross though. You know what I'm saying? Still disgusting. Man, they're creepy looking. I don't like them at all. I don't know anybody that would like something sucking on their arm, especially something alien. Like, what if it lays eggs inside of you? Ugh. <laughs> I remember, uh, oh, what's that movie? There's an alien movie where, uh, I know there's lots of alien movies where this happens, but, um, oh, what's that? I wish I could remember what it's called. It's a really spooky movie, though, but anyways, one of these weird little worm things comes and smashes through, uh, one of the guy's helmets and starts, uh, putting things into his body. And let's just say that he didn't make it, but it was super disgusting and it was very traumatic to watch. I'm glad there's nothing kind of like that going on so far that we know of. Because <laughs> that stuff just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I hate it. So gross. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So we did that. Now, my question is, do we have to do? <laughs> what do we have to do to get out of here? I'm not quite sure. I wonder if this kind of unlocks any areas for us or... You know what I mean? I'm not sure. Prawn Bay, locker room. We've been there. We, we've got the prawn unlocked, so that's pretty sweet. This is the Seamoth Bay. We got the Seamoth already obviously unlocked. Inventory's full. It's like I just want to open one of these doors so I can get out of here. Because I think we've got everything we need from, from this place. Now, I could be entirely wrong. And if I am, let me know in the comment section. And I'll be sure to uh, take your advice. But as for right now, I'm very confused as to what we should do. I don't think by repairing all that, that did anything for us. Like, in, in terms... Of opening a door or anything but uh, we did get rid of the radiation levels 
or the achievement that pops up is extinction event avoided. But I know we did let them blow up, so I don't know if we really avoided that. <laughs> um, but hey, whatever. I guess we'll go back over here and see if there's anything else that we missed. Because knowing me, I'm sure there is. Alright. I guess we'll just uh, retrace our steps up here. But we spent a lot of time up here. Should we be repairing this again? I don't know why we would, but... I guess why not? So, we've already been through here. We've been through the place where the hull is damaged. Because that's just over here. We went into there. And it didn't seem to really do much for us that I remembered from last time. I don't think we could really go anywhere from here, you know? Not that I had a super good look around. But from what we did see, I don't remember there. Oh, okay. Well, no, we've downloaded that data. It's like I'm just kind of confused as to, like, you know... Like, like I said, this game is just very funny in how it, uh, it doesn't really, you know, hold your hand. It's just like, okay, figure it out, loser. Okay, so our inventory's full. It seems as though this is something we weren't able to get up on prior. So that must have been unlocked by, uh, sealing that radiation. Because I don't think we could get up here before. I'm glad we can now. Ooh, geez, still. A little bit of fire there. I always forget to put them all out. We must be able to jump out here somehow. I would think. Do we have to somehow cut our way through? You know what? Just because we're here and I feel like it, let's just put this fire out entirely. If we can. Oh, yeah. Easy money. That's right. I just yeeted it that far. Let's see if we can get in this bad boy without dying. Wouldn't it be nice to not get eaten and just get back in our ship? Oh, I don't know why I always get like super shaky when I get near the ship because I know there's a bunch of spooky enemies over here. Oh, <laughs> he speed climbed that sucker. I think he's just as scared as I am. All right. Let's get out of here as fast as we absolutely can. Okay. Let's just get away from here because we all know what's lurking in the depths, don't we? Stuff that I don't want to meet. So you know what? We're going to go to the surface because we all know what doesn't hang out at the surface. <laughs> Leviathans. Oh dear lord. I don't know what was coming for us, but we... I have a feeling it wasn't small. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Oh, this is ghetto. Oh no, please don't overheat right now. Oh no, oh no. Are we safe now? Oh, that was scary. If if I knew that we had shields, I would have stopped and taken a look. But uh, we all know that it was probably a Leviathan that could do that kind of damage. Uh, I don't think that any other thing in the game could attack us that bad. But you know what? Let's just absolutely get out of here. Get home. And then, <laughs> then I'll be actually able to not poop my pants 
and uh, repair this up. <laughs> Jeez. That was actually, wow, that was actually like pretty cool though. Like the fact that we can just crank the engines up and just rip back home. Leviathan can't even keep up. I love it. Cyclops is super cool. Also, we have some upgrades we found in the Aurora that we can throw down in the Cyclops. And another thing that's cool is that we finally repaired the Aurora and got rid of the uh, kind of the radiation that was going on there. So that's good. I don't know if that was um, a Leviathan attack because I don't know how much damage we took, but I should check. Because I think a Leviathan does a pretty decent amount of damage to uh, to the Cyclops when it gives it a smack, so. But I'm not sure. I could also be wrong on that. But anyways, that was, uh, that was fun, kind of ripping away from whatever that was. It would have been cool if we could have checked the cameras, though. That would have been really spooky. If there was just a Leviathan chomping at our camera from underneath. <laughs> Oh, there's external hull damage. I can tell you that much. She's, uh, she's pouring in here. You don't gotta tell me. Let's crank her up a little bit here. And get home. I want to be home. Let me tell you what. I think being home would just be awesome right now. Because <laughs> that was a little scary. Like, you can just hear the fish bouncing off the cyclops. Pretty nice that I know now that I can bring my, uh, I can bring my, um, sea moth along. I didn't realize I could dock it in here, so that makes it really cool. I say we park right over top of the base here. There we go. Beauty. Oh, man, am I happy that we're safe. Because <laughs> can you imagine getting the, uh, the Cyclops taken away from us? Holy moly, that would suck. Well, you know what? Let's leave the uh, the lights on inside. Let's go repair this dang damage. Because uh, I don't like when the Cyclops is damaged. Oh, there's a there's a little bit. Sealer back up, right on. Let's take a look here. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Don't want that exposed to the uh, the ocean. Wires, electricity, electricity, and water don't seem to go well together. So let's not do that. But anyways, let's go hop into the old base here and see what's going down. But before we do that, maybe we should grab some... Oh, please don't drop that. Maybe we should grab some food. Well, I think we have food. I think all we need is bladder fish for some water. I think that's kind of what we need. But I'll grab some of these peepers anyways, because they're they're good eating. Oh my goodness, can I grab that? Oh man, the Cyclops is such a beautiful vehicle. Like holy moly, she cool. I I feel a heck of a lot safer in that thing than anything else. Not that I've said that a thousand times, but uh, in case you guys were wondering, that's how I feel about it. Okay, what are we looking for? Oops. Is our inventory full? Yeah, inventory is full. Okay. Well, let's head back inside of our base. Let's see if she's even online anymore. It might not be. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, yeah, she's inactive. Actually, you know what? We've got a battery to put in here. These are all charged. This one's not. These ones are. Let's just put four batteries in there. I know they're charged, but we'll just toss them in there anyways. Let's listen to the radio, too. This is live pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricator's bust. Ah, oh, jeez. Not the power. fabricator. Dang it. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, so let's put some stuff. Non-functional laboratory equipment. Why did we grab this? <laughs> I don't know why we grabbed that. So you know what we're going to do? 
we are gonna go throw that outside the base. We'll keep that just because it's cool. Um, should cook this stuff, put the titanium away. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's find ourselves a knife because we dropped ours because I'm dumb. Okay. So we got some titanium. We all know that this is full of titanium. So let's put some more in there. That power cell is pretty darn low. Cyclops energy efficiency module. Heat by product to increase engine efficiency. Okay, cool. And this is a Seamoth depth module. Nice. Actually, you know what we can do? We can put this in here. That'll give us some power. So that's good. It'll do something for us. We should also put another... What is a solar panel going to... Oh, no. We got rid of our fabricator like an idiot. Or not our, not our fabricator. Our, uh, our habitat builder. Because I dropped it. I'm so dumb. Okay, let's see what that's going to cost us. Computer chip wiring kit and a battery. Dang it. We have a computer chip sitting around. We don't have a wiring kit, though. And to be honest, I don't think... Oh, yeah, we got silver. Never mind. I thought it was copper that needed a wiring kit. We've got silver. Doesn't seem we have much of it anymore. We used to have a ton. There we go. And we have a computer chip. Beautiful. And then what was the other thing? Man, it's always so loud in this game. It's always scary. It always sounds like something's going to come and eat us. Like right now. Fabric. Habitat builder. Battery. We have a few of those. I just might know where one of those is. Boom. Okay. Got ourselves a new habitat builder. Too bad we had to spend all that stuff for it, but it is what it is. Oh, let's also get some water while we're at it. Now, let's cook this. We'll cook this. Okay, let's also drop off this garbage we don't need. Because so we have a few things of it. Like, we don't need all of... Well, you know what? These are good to have. We can put a few of them on the on the ship. Okay, let's put the blue cap in here, this in here, that in there. Uh, do we have any other modules? No, we don't. Let's put the power cell in there. Actually, we'll keep that just in case maybe we can charge it on the, on the other uh, boat. We're also looking for solar panels. So let's see what those require. So I feel like we should build another one on top. So two titanium, a copper, and two quartz. I thought I saw, is that a gold or a copper? Shoot, that's a gold. So we should go find some copper. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of gold. No copper, eh? We need two quartz for sure. I think it said we need two titanium. And a copper. Dang it, hey, we don't have a copper. Okay. Can I build a knife? What's a knife gonna cost me? A silicone and a titanium? We got that. Let's build that because it's always good to have a little survival knife on you. It's not like, oh my goodness, don't have a knife, I'm gonna die, but it's like, that's eh, this good it's a good thing to have. Oh, we should also put this here. There we go. Well, that's good. That moved it. I didn't want to have that on us. It's just not necessary right now. But where should we look? For a copper. Should we stay up here and look around? I think we should. Let's just look up here. There we go. Copper right there. Nice. So let's definitely build another solar panel right now. 
You know what? I guess we could build a couple. So let's just look for... Let's just look for some more outcroppings. There's one right here. That's not what we wanted. But it's okay. There are worse things. Spooky, spooky. Let's grab... A couple of these to throw in our organic thing right now since we don't fully run off of uh, solar panels yet. Okay. Anything else over here? No outcropping, say. Hey? There's gotta be. Really? Hmm. That's right. No big deal. I'm just a complainer. I just like the easy way. The easy way is just easy, you know what I'm saying? It ain't easy being cheesy. Now, I do want more of you, that's for sure. And they light up cool at night. Hey, some quartz. May as well grab that while we're here. No, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds to stop nagging me. Oh, my auction levels. Good thing they have warnings, hey? I would totally forget. Okay. While we're here, let's throw some water together with our million bladder fish that we're always having to get. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Looking good. There we go. Now we can cure one because those other ones are going to rot, which sucks, but that's alright. It happens. Anything we need to make? No? Ooh. That reminds me. I should be putting these in here. Drinking this. Drinking this. Beautiful. Now. I believe we have what it takes to make another solar panel. So why not? Let's do it. Perfect. Now does that increase our power? Like I'm not exactly sure if it does or not. Can we add this to the Seamoth right now? Or do we still have to build something? Oh no. There we go. Enhances safe diving depth. Good. And that's the Cyclops one. Sweet. Okay, so I might hop in that for a sec here. And go. we'll go check out what... So let's put one more creeper vine in there just to keep it going for a little bit longer. And actually, while we're at it, let's look for that s another piece of copper. And it's always good to have a million bladder fish. That was titanium. Which is too bad. <laughs> because the elusive copper is what we need. Titanium again. Copper. Nice. I will take it. All right, I have like ADHD when I'm out in the water. I'm always just snooping around for some bladder fish. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, it's glitching so hard. What's it doing? It will not let me climb up. There we go, jeez, that was weird. Okay, actually, you know what? So what do we have to grab now? We gotta grab two quartz. Oh, okay, we can put one back. We already have the two titanium, so that's chill. So let's go build one more. Solar panel. Five solar panel. Let's 
put it the opposite way of this one. Beauty. I don't even know if these work underwater, to be honest. I don't know why they would, but I can, some light comes down, I guess. <laughs> I might be being a complete and total idiot. I'm not sure. I guess we won't know. Now, I was going to grab one more thing for this, but of course I forgot because I'm a scatterbrain. But that's okay. We may as well make a bunch of water. Because water, for some reason, is uh, always a huge deal in this game. I mean, I understand it's 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 needed for, for human life, but it gets a little annoying, you know, and we're always having to stock up on water. Okay, so let's hop in the Seamoth. We'll drop this sucker down. Let's go take it up to the Cyclops. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. It is an awesome animation. Wow, right up to the to the top deck. That's cool. Close that. Now, where do we put upgrades here? Because I know we can put upgrades. Here we go. Cool. Beauty. Energy efficiency. Engine efficiency, 300%. Cool. That is awesome. I like that. Let's close these doors. Just because I'm going to be that guy from now on. I'm scared of everything. So let's go down here. Let's close this. What is this? Oh, this is the steam moth. Okay. Cool. Is that lockers down there? Am I dumb? Oh my gosh, it is. It's storage. Cool. Okay, well, I'm a dummy. That's alright. It's not like it. It's not like it was expensive to make storage up here, but I mean. Oops. Let's type this one. First aid. Even though I know it's not all first aid. Are these all cured? Oh, beautiful. Let's put another cured one in there. Let's put some water. Put a couple of first aids in there since that's good. We'll put a couple of neutral blocks. We're just sitting pretty good in here. Um, that's too bad that that's pretty depleted. Let's just drop it. Can we drop it? I don't want it there. Dang it. Still sitting there, hey? Get out. Wow. Okay, that's annoying. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Let's rock and roll now where so those are cameras so we need to find number seven and I'm not sure if seven is going to pop up for us on here or how that's going to work I hope it does I mean that's how it did last time unless we already found seven but I doubt it I don't know how that would work are we not able to see seven hmm that's weird yeah, see? We can see all that stuff, but where is... Okay, let me look here. Voice log. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Okay. 7 out. So where are the coordinates? Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date the bank. So, here's the data bank. They sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity, approximately one kilometer southwest of Aurora's stern section. Okay, well, 
I guess we, wow, we just have to find it, hey? One kilometer southwest. Oh, that's scary. I don't know if I want to be going over there. So which way? So that's southwest. I feel like that's going to be uh, a little bit of, um, what's it called? A little bit of uh, Leviathan territory. If you know what I mean. Maybe that's just me, but I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. That hurt us? Doesn't seem so. Oh boy. So we're just kind of deking everything out right now. Sorry guys, one sec here, let me figure this out. So southwest, that's this way. Alright, so let's bring her down a little bit. Now we don't want to be smoking, smoking these big boys. <laughs> I'm assuming they'll mess us up pretty good. Because they ain't small by any means. I don't know why I feel safer in this thing, knowing that we could definitely get oofed on by a dang leviathan, but... Oh, that sound scares me every single time. Dang it. Now, how deep are we? We're nowhere near deep enough. We're going down now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ow, how bad did I hurt us? Oh, no. I just, just started diving, just full standing down. Not even checking what's going on down there. Okay, let's get down here. See what's going on. The sounds are getting super spooky. Not enjoying it whatsoever. Okay, so we're at a depth of 200. I believe this is where we're supposed to be going. I wonder what's sounding the horn is for in this game. Like, does it scare off creatures, or...? You know what I mean? Why... I'm wondering why we're not getting... Like, uh, you know, like life pod sevens, like coordinates at, at, at least a little bit, you know, it's kind of weird, but what does that button do? Oh, well, this is the camera button. Is this the front one? I think this is the front one. Oh no, this is the back one. This is the top. Oh, <gasps> that's a Leviathan. I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe we turn around and don't come back here. Oh boy, I wonder, like, that's the ghost reaper, I think? He doesn't, 
He doesn't attack unless he has to, from what I remember. So we'll just stay out of his way. And, uh, yeah. I think that's the best idea. I'm surprised our sub hasn't warned us that uh, he's around. Maybe he's un... Uh, maybe the sub can't uh, tell if he's there. But you know what? Since he's down here, let's go up. Because I don't feel like messing with him. AKA, I can't mess with him. <laughs> so we'll go up here. I like sticking to the surface. Oh, uh, what was that? I didn't lose any health. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of leviathans back here for sure. This is the back of the aurora. And if anybody knows how stupid I am, I'm not sure what the front or the back of the boat is. The stern is what we want. So, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyways, we got some decent stuff done. We got uh, those modules installed, which is cool. I mean, that's a good thing. Isn't it? We got some solar panels built. So that's decent. But we spent so much time trying to get out of the dang... Uh, We spent so much time trying to get out of the dang, um, what's it called? Um, Aurora. Like, that was half the dang episode. Stupid thing. But, that's alright. At least we're out now. Don't want to be overheating the engine on this bad boy. We need her. That's a cool sound. I like that. That's neat. That sound doesn't mess around. I'm pretty sure this entire place is just... just oh, that scared me. That creeper vine scared the crap out of me. It looks like the face of a reaper. Oops. Yeah, I know I'm nicking stuff right now. Oh man, these are shallow waters. I gotta be super careful. Like, what the heck? I'm getting into some crazy shallow water here, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. This is stupid shallow stuff. Holy moly. This ain't good. I probably shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't be in here with this big sub. Oh. oh, just scraping around stuff. Oh boy, good thing it's a game. Oh, it looks like we aren't going this way. Definitely not. This is the shallows. Holy moly. How did we even get over this way? Must have been over here. Wow. Sorry guys. A little bit of a little bit of lag there. Alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get this puppy home. There we go. Alright, we'll put her right here. Engine powering down. Nice. Beautiful. 
see if we got any holes on her. I don't know if we did. I think we just knocked her on some stuff. Man, is this sub ever pretty. I love this thing. It is so cool. They did such a beautiful job with this game. Wow. I absolutely love it. Alrighty. I think that's where we're going to leave it, guys. I mean, I wish I could have done more this episode, but I mean, hey. We got to find Life Pod 7 next time. I, uh, I just, I, we ran out of time. I spent way too much time in the Aurora, so I'm sorry. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the content, like the video, subscribe. That'd be awesome. And you know what? I will catch you on the next one. Peace.